This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I am gladly blessed and, and, and honoring God, praise God, for another day with breath in my body, mind stayed on him and a desire to please him in all that I do. I pray to God that each one of you been blessed. God bless you, Sister Tisa. Bless you, Mother Crouch. Amen. Pray that your day has been blessed. Amen. Beautiful day outside. Amen. Bless you, Brother Shannon. Amen. The loss of your uncle. Amen. The loss in your family. We praying for you, brother. God bless you, Sister Vonda. Amen. Amen. This was the day. Come on, somebody, that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you, missionary. Oh, Sister Erica, praise God. Good to see you. Amen. On board. Praise God. Let's start sharing it out very quickly. Let's get busy quick today. Praise God. Amen. We're. I, I'm just excited about this series all by itself. Praise God. Amen. Can't nobody praise cheat God. us out of it. We're going to be blessed in it. Praise God. We're going to continue to amen. Um, just seek the Lord in this series and just let him bless us. Amen. Tremendously. God bless you, Sister Odie. Bless you, missionary. Praise God. Good to see you also today, missionary. Bless you, Pastor Strong. Good to see you with us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Strong, I pray you stay with me because I'm going to need, amen. I'm asking those pastors when they come on, if you feel there's a nugget I need to put out there, praise God, don't hesitate to help me push it out there, amen, and bless the people, praise God, as we begin to, amen, share tonight, praise God, because it's nothing like, amen, when somebody else has got a good nugget for us. Is that all right? Amen. So I'm praise God. We need your help on that. Praise God. So amen. Let us go to work. Amen. amen. We know we've been in this series. Praise God. Um, we built not to break. Amen. We know that we built not to break. God has, amen, decreed that in our hearts. Amen. We are built not amen. to break. Amen. Our problem is, praise God, that what, what occurred, amen, that he he has built us not to break. And what occurred, amen, originally we talked about Adam and Eve, amen, and how they originally, praise God, was initially um, our first uh, original people. And they were built, praise God, uh, with the image of God with no tainting at all in them. Amen. We know, praise God, through that cycle, praise God, we, we know, amen, during that time that the enemy came in and tricked them to a place, praise God, that they then, amen, was tainted in a way, praise God, that they began to have things with them. Now, what God did was allow Jesus to come to give us back that relationship, to open that door, amen, you remember it's on the other side of the cross for us, amen, and amen, when he did that, praise God, what it did do is open up that door. But some of us, amen, when we come back, we come back broken. We come back with a lot of, of hard things, praise God. Amen. And we are built, amen, not to break. Come on, someone. And we unbreakable, but we do come with a lot of baggage. We come with a lot of hurts, a lot of struggles. Amen. And sometimes, praise God, some of us don't even really realize that we're so comfortable and so used to being who we are, praise God. We don't realize that we're really in a struggle. We really don't want to own up to it and really want to break it. But I've been trying to encourage you, praise God, the last two series is that, amen, I, would you rather be comfortable or go to your destiny? Amen. I'd rather, amen, have my promise and my destiny that God has for me. And if it takes me, amen, to leave this comfort zone and be honest with myself and whatever it takes to be broken from where I am, amen, to where God wants me to be, let it be, praise God. Whatever it is, I want to be honest that, amen, at the end of the day, that I can have all that God said I can have and do all that God said I can do. Amen. I don't want any misery in my life. Somebody help me out. I want all that God has for me. Amen. And at this point, praise God, we have to realize that we can find, amen, fault in a lot of other people. But this series is about us. It's about each individual person. It's not about what you see on another person. It's about what you need to see on yourself. It's about what we need to deal with, praise God, because we can pray for others, amen, but amen, it's always good for us to snatch and get those things broken off us. I need about four or five amens in there, praise God, because, you know, we want others to receive this. That's why I ask you to share this. If you're able, praise God, share this, praise God. Amen. We started off saying we weren't built to break. Amen. God built us in his image. He made us in his image. Amen. He said, let us make man in our image. So he gave us the material. He gave us all the things we need, praise God, never for anything to actually break us. It made us, praise God, that we were able, praise God, to sustain anything will come against us that is not of God. I need one or two amens. But 
amen, what occurred, like I said, things begin to uh, creep into our lives. So I need you to always say to yourself, I'm unbreakable. Oh, help me someone. You need to be able to start decreeing that from this day forward. I'm unbreakable. Amen. But I do, amen, come sometime with struggles. I come with some struggles, praise God, some, and some struggles, praise God. And this is what I want to remove because I want to come 100%. I've learned, praise God, praise God, through the years, amen, pastoring, and even in my years, amen, of just being a servant of God. Sometimes, praise God, God can't answer all of our prayers because we still got some things that need to be delivered or healed out of us before he can open those floodgates for us. And, and I come to understand, praise God, I, I'd rather get out of this comfort zone where I've been used to, and, amen, that God can give me my total destiny. Amen. At this point, praise God, no matter who, amen, nobody can stand in my way, and I don't care who it is because I am determined in this season to have all that God said I can have. I'm going to live 100% whether anybody else like it or not. The devil is not going to stop it. I am determined, praise God, if there's anything that's delaying or denying, and if I got anything to do with it, I want it fixed. Somebody give me an amen out there. So praise God. Our first, amen, first lesson, praise God, amen, was uh, the lie you tell yourself. And we talked about, praise God, believing in yourself, praise God, learning, praise God, self-worth, amen, learning self-value, amen. We know, praise God, that this is some of the most difficult things. We don't have self-worth. We devalue ourselves quite a bit, praise God. And I also talked about the unconscious mind, how the unconscious mind plays a great role in our lives. Somebody help me out. Our unconscious mind tells us that water is water. Our unconscious mind tells us how to drive because we don't need to learn to drive every time because that's the unconscious mind. We don't even think about it. We just get our car keys and go because it's already in the unconscious mind that moves and operates for us on a regular basis. But also in our unconscious minds are some thoughts and some ideas and some lies that we told ourselves that we built up, amen, come on someone, that has caused us, amen, to devalue ourselves and have less expectations for our own selves. So we got to be very careful, praise God, to break those things, amen. That was our first lesson. Our second lesson, praise God, on yesterday was the lies that others tell us. Come on someone. These are lies where we are told lies from the day we are born. Somebody say, man, they're, they're telling us, praise God, what we should wear, how we should wear it, what product is better than the other. Somebody tell me amen in this thing. They tell us, praise God, what we look like, what we should look like. Talk to me, saints of God. They're very, very much, amen, all about every day trying to change out, telling us we're too small, too big, telling us we're wearing the wrong thing, telling us what we need to wear. Uh, it's always a lie, praise God. Amen. It's getting to a point, praise God, you don't even know the truth. Our government, come on someone, you just don't know who to believe. You don't know who to believe because it's so all screwed up. Amen. The only person I got my trust in is, is in God. Amen. At this point, praise God. Amen. Is anybody with me? So the lies that people have told us sometimes can be destructive. There have been destructive lies in our lives that people have did to manipulate us. Somebody say amen. So on yesterday, we dealt with that because there was a manipulating lies that have carried us a long way. We remember that lie that somebody said, how they kept telling us this and kept seeding it into our lives until we begin to believe that about ourselves. Begin to believe it, praise God, and begin to operate in it. Come, anybody else besides myself, amen, but believe, praise God, these things and allow that thing to have such a way in our lives, amen, because somebody came in and broke our heart and said, nobody never wants you, or somebody told you you were crazy, or somebody always told you you're going to be like your daddy, you ain't going to be no good, or, or all these things, praise God, that are seated in our lives, amen, and have been destructive emotionally, and praise God, and it occurred over into our spiritual lives. And I'm trying to tell you, I told you, praise God. Anybody remember? The reason, praise God, God can't give it to you because you'll kill it. Somebody understand that. God can't give it to us yet because we will kill it. Somebody understand that. What do I'm saying? Praise God. When God wants to bless us, open the floodgates for us, we will destroy what God wants to bless us with because we still got stuff we need to be delivered of before, amen, God can give it all to us. I need one or two amens out there. I need somebody to love on me and say, you're doing all right, brother. Amen. Come on, brother, Pastor Strong. Help me out in this conversation. Amen. Praise God. And then, praise God, we learned, praise God, on yesterday. Amen. That it's going to come a time, amen, which it is today, praise God, that the lives have gotten so good that, amen, in 2 Timothy 4 and 3, that um, for the, and, and
in this time, praise God, is coming that men won't tolerate real sound doctrine. And they're really looking for, praise God, itching ear stuff. They're looking for stuff that itch their ears to make to suit them and make them feel okay about themselves. Is that all right? So, amen, those are the two subjects we have, the lies we tell ourselves, the lies people tell us. And now tonight, praise God, we're going to talk about the lies the devil will tell us. Come on, someone. These are, praise God, the lies the devil will tell us. And I'm going to start off, praise God, amen. I got quite a few verses, amen, It's going to praise God, pretty much, hopefully help us out tonight, amen. So we'll just start off with this one, amen, just work my way through, work with me, praise God, as I work through these verses, because I think they're all powerful and play a role in how the devil lies to us, amen, and manipulate us, amen, into ways sometimes not to believe what God can do. Acts 5 and 3, praise God, and it says, Peter said unto Ananias, why has the Satan fill your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit to keep back yourself part of the proceeds of the land? Let us do pray. Heavenly Father, I'm grateful, God, for what you are to me. I'm grateful, God, for how you bless me. I'm grateful, God, for this opportunity for the word to be unfolded to us. We ask God in the name of Jesus, we come together, God, to hear the word, to grow and develop, God. If we're in this class together, God, we ask God to continue to shape us, God. Take us down to the potter's house and begin to develop us, God, as we continue to take off and put on. And God, in the name of Jesus, we are examining ourselves tonight, God, understanding, God, that we want to be 100% of what we need to be. Now, I bind the trigger of the enemy that's going to get people distracted. Some people are distracted what's going on in their home. I bind that right now. I bind the distraction of people thinking about hurts or things. We cast that to the pit of hell. But most of all, God, help us right now to receive this word for the next 20, 25 minutes that will bless our lives, that you will get the glory and we'll be much closer in Jesus' name. Well, amen. The reason I use that scripture, praise God, is because this man, Ananias, well, hey, amen. This is when the church first started, amen. This is the first church in Acts, amen. The Holy Ghost had begun to move. People were getting filled with the Holy Ghost, amen. And the church was blessed. And they said they had all things in common, amen. Nobody lacked anything, praise God. Everybody, praise God, was being blessed, praise God, amen. Everybody was being favored. I keep telling our church all the time, living word, that's the way we want to operate. Nobody lacked anything. Everybody had all things in common. And the, and the house was just being blessed in every way. That's where we want to be. So praise God. This couple, amen, said, okay, what we're going to do, is we're going to go sell some land and we're going to give the proceeds to the church. Amen. Now, it was their land and they could have never decided to sell it. They could. It was their land. They could have said, okay, we're going to go and give half of it to the church. But praise God, because, amen, they... Amen. Allow the devil to seed into their spirit. Come on, somebody. Amen. The opportunity, praise God, to trick them to, amen, say to the people. They got together and said, listen, now what I'm going to do, praise God, I am going to go hide, praise God. I want to go hide some of this money. Amen. And then we're going to give the rest to the church. Amen. And then went into the church and said, hey, here's the money we got for what we sold. And here we find Peter said, why are you allowing the Satan, the devil, to lie to your heart, amen, that you will come and lie before the Holy Ghost in us? Amen. We got to get to a point, praise God, that we can't allow the devil, amen, in any way, come on somebody, to tell us a lie, to let us live a lie, or help us to operate in a lie. Somebody help me out in that. And it says, praise God, why did you do that? And then, amen, it says the Ananias dropped dead. Amen. I am so grateful, praise God, that God doesn't do that to us because a whole lot of us, amen, including probably myself, would have been dropped dead. Come on, somebody. Amen. By now. But God has mercifully not allowed that to happen. But as an example, praise God, that when we allow the devil to let a live a lie or let a lie come in us, amen, how it can be destructive. Ephesians 4 and 27 said, give no opportunity to the devil. That means, praise God, you cannot allow him to entertain, amen, your spirit. That's why very careful, praise God. I tell everybody, don't have an idle mind. Never have an idle mind. What do I mean by that? You be careful, praise God, while you're driving, amen, and all of a sudden, amen. How, how about this? Have any of you, praise God, ever been driving and your favorite song came on the, 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 the stereo or, or on, your, on your music, praise God, amen. You was, oh, my song. And by the time, praise God, that song went off, 
You didn't hear a word of it. Anybody besides myself, amen, that's because your mind went way off from the song. You missed the whole song, praise God, because your mind got idle and your mind began to think on something else. We have to be so careful because that's the times that the enemy can come in as a flood and begin to distract you and put lies in your spirit. Somebody help me out. Praise God that that's how he works. That's how he operates. He looks for those opportunities and he wants to lie to your heart and to your spirit and make you think and operate in a way that is not of God. Amen, someone. He make you think, how many of you know, shut up, mama. He will make you think, praise God, that people, pray, listen, I have seen the devil operate so much and make people live a lie and think a lie so much that make you think a whole different avenue about someone, amen, because they haven't even thought it out, amen. They begin to say, well, why would they do, why this, why that? And I begin to, I've shared with one just here recently, why would you think that, I asked them, praise God, well, what would they do, amen, check this out. If somebody else came to them and said that about that person, she said, I would tell them, no, in no way in the world, he would do that. I said, well, why do you think you would think that person would do it? See, so what are you saying? She would think that he would do it, but she said if somebody else came to her, she would never believe that he would do it. See, that's how the enemy make you operate. You see how easy the enemy can mess with your mind, praise God? How many know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to tell you, praise God, you, you don't put yourself out. Of, let me explain something to you. The devil don't care who we mess with. Because Matthew 4 and 1, it says, and then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness. Come on, someone. And was tempted by the devil. Come on, someone. So I'm trying to tell you, praise God, the devil don't care who he fights. You are not too grown. You can't, amen. That's why you got to be careful that you try the spirit by the spirit. Not everything that comes to your mind, amen. Oh, that sounds good. No, you better try it by God. Sometimes everything you don't move on right away. Come on. Oh, help me. Let me get a little closer to this, this, this um, phone. Everything you do not operate right away with because you got to try it of God. Even though it sounds good, even though it looks good, even though 10 other people did it, doesn't mean, praise God, that you do it. It doesn't mean that it's for you to do. You, amen, have to operate, amen, because the devil can send you a lie that looks like a truth. How many of you know what I'm talking about? He said it looks like a sheep, amen, come, but it's a wolf. Dressed in sheep clothing. Come on, someone. That's the way the devil does. He don't dress up like the devil and then expect you to operate. He comes, amen, in conniving in very sneakful ways to allow you to think. Come on, talk to the preacher. Somebody talk to me. Ain't no, I'm the only one that he's trying to sneak up on and do this with. I ain't getting enough amens. Ain't nobody else talking to me tonight. We're talking about the lies the devil tell you. You're in a battle, praise God, but you are definitely in a battle. You know what? But you're not in it alone, praise God. Every one of us, praise God, are fighting a battle on a regular day that the enemy is trying to come up with ways to throw, amen, something in the game to make us, amen, stop believing that God is who he is and start making us, amen, believe a lie. Amen. He wants, amen, in every way, praise God, to get us. He don't care how he does it. We know we're in a fight. You, let me explain something. You are in a fight, praise God, whether you want to believe it or not. Amen. You wake up thinking you're not, you are. Amen. That's why you be careful what you think. That's why, amen, you can't got to keep your mind on the Lord. That's why you just can't let everything wander in your mind. Even, praise God, when you upset, that's when you got to be very careful how you operate when you upset. The devil really will mess with you. He'll make you think things and then you're justified because you think you're upset. But it was of the adversary. You got to be very, 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 very careful. Because I've learned something. Once it's out of your mouth, you can't reel it back in. Somebody can, you know, I'm going to give myself an amen. I told you I'm going to plug my own computer up and give myself some amens in this thing. Because, see, the devil will make you get a lot. And then, praise God, you start, amen, having to deal with that lie. Amen. Ephesians, praise God, um, 6 and 12 said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, listen to this, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. What I'm saying to you, praise God, the enemy, amen, we are not fighting against 
people we're fighting against, the spirit realm thing that is wicked, praise God, that brings the lies to our life, amen, to bring us down. He don't care how he brings it. He brings it, praise God, and amen. He doesn't care how long you've been in the Lord. He don't care if you've been here two days or you've been here 10 years. He comes to tell and throw a lie in a wrench in a game to make you think, praise God, somehow or another the wrong way. Somebody help me out or operate the wrong way or do the wrong thing. Somebody talk to me besides myself, praise God. We must be determined, praise God, praise God, to listen to this. We must be determined, praise God, not to give up the fight. Amen. We got to listen to this. And this is what helps me, praise God. I have to remember this. It helps me, praise God, because sometimes I get some stuff that comes to me that I, and I have to set my mind on things above. I have to keep my mind set, praise God, on God. I have to keep my mind set on positive stuff. I can't, amen, allow, praise God, the enemy to saturate my mind. That's Colossians 3 and 2, amen, for those, amen, follow me with scriptures. Amen. Colossians 3 and 2 tell us to set our minds on things above. We got to get to the point, praise God, even down to things in our lives. Listen to me. You got to be so careful, praise God, because they're so easy to deceive you with the lies of this world. Amen. It's so easy to deceive you. It's so easy, praise God. Amen. It's just small stuff, praise God. It just says a little fox destroy the vine. Praise God. They say it took the big bad wolf. It just takes the small things that can get in. I, I tell the people at Living Word, check this out. There's two ways I can flatten the tire of your car. Somebody said two ways. There's two ways, praise God. The first way, praise God, I can go out there and take an ice pick and stick it into your tire and that thing goes, Shoo! it'll start going down so fast. Amen. We all see it. And you'll hear it. Uh, then I can go out there and praise God, take a little itty bitty pin and poke a hole in that thing. You'll never hear it go down. And all of a sudden it's losing air. And for a long time, you may not notice, but after a while you start to see it, but it's not, it's not so noticeable. That's what the devil, he don't care how he knocks you down with the lies and the way he takes the wind out of your cell and the way he pulls you from God with the lies he tell you. He don't care how he does it, if he can use a pitchfork or he can use a little needle. As long as he's taking something from you and your relationship with God, he's all right. Amen. Somebody help me out. I know we're unbreakable. I know we're built not to break. But baby, what he wants to do, he knows that. He knows, praise God, that we're blessed. But he also wants to, he can't break us. He can't stop us. But he wants to deny us, keep our relationship all messed up, and make us live a lie any way we know how. Now, here we go, praise God. First Kings, praise God, 19th chapter. Amen. I find, praise God, here we talk about a man by the name of Elijah. Elijah, praise God, a great prophet, amen. Man, man it was a wicked king by Ahab, praise God, and we'll find um, through this whole scripture, praise God, that Ahab, amen, was out there, amen, and he was living a very unrighteous life. He was living unsaved. He was a wicked king, praise God. He was living, amen, any kind of way he was known to kill and take people's land when he had all the land. He even married a very wicked woman by the name of Jezebel, praise God, amen, and she was just wicked as all out. They served all kind of gods with the old little G. Amen. They just served them. Praise God. Amen. They were just crazy all by themselves. Am I talking to anybody? Praise God. And amen. It says, praise God, that God told, amen, Elijah, there would be no rain, amen, and for a season, amen, because they believed in in this, in this in, in, in a God called Baal, the, uh, a fertile God that rained and took care of the earth and all that, amen, by God shutting it up, proving that he was the only true living God and he was going to call the drought to come. Amen. So the drought came, praise God, and we know the story that Elijah was fed, praise God, by the brook and the raven. Raven brought him the food and the water, amen, then it dried up and it was a little widow woman that blessed him, praise God, and then, praise God, he was challenged, praise God, when it was time for him to come back, he said, okay, all y'all come and show me what you got, praise God, and none of them, amen, could prove anything, but then God came down and burnt up the offering that was before them, amen, lacked up all the water, praise God, that was poured on the offering, uh, on the uh, sacrificial offering, praise God, amen, then he says, Elijah, amen, commanded them to kill all 400 of the prophets. Amen. And all this praise God was told unto, amen, 
Ahab's wife, who was Jezebel. And here's what we find, praise God. And it says, uh, in the 19, it's, 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 we're in 19, 1 Kings 19 chapter. And says, Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and withdrew, and had withdrew how, how he had slain all the prophets with a sword. Then Jezebel sent a message. Come on. Sent a message unto Elijah. She sent a message unto Elijah saying, so let the gods, G, little G, do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the lives of, the, of them by the morrow at the same time. He said, in other words, I'm going to kill you by the morrow this time, just like you killed every one of my prophets. And listen what it says here. And when he saw that, uh, see, he saw it. Listen to what I'm saying. The devil will lie to you so that the woman sent a messenger and he saw himself dying. Oh, y'all ain't catch that. Y'all see, am I the only one who got that? See how the devil work with you? He will operate. Come on, y'all not helping me. Come on, I'm going to be by myself here in a minute. Praise God. The devil, amen, sent that word to him to mess with him so much, amen, that he messed around and believed it so much that he saw it. He saw it in his spirit realm. It lied to him so much. The devil lied to him, amen. All that God had done with him, all that God had showed him, here he hears a word from this woman and sees it in his spirit. The lie from the devil came so deep to him, praise God, that he saw it. He Then it said he arose and went for his life. Amen. He ran for his life because he saw what a lie a woman had told him that was a man just told him. Amen. Not even there to do it. Not even send somebody to do it. Just he saw it in his spirit realm, that lie. Amen. And he ran, praise God. And it said he ran, praise God, and went. And listen to this. Here's what, here's how the devil lied to you. Amen. And then he gets, praise God, Away, away, praise God. He went a day's journey and says he went into the wilderness and set up under a Jupiter's tree and asked that he would die. Now, my question is, listen to this. Look how the devil will lie to you. Look how the devil will mess with you, praise God. He messed with this man so that he saw, amen, this woman killing him, saw this happening, but yet still he goes so far away and then desires to die. I, I can't understand that because if he was worried for his life, if he wanted to die, he could have stayed there, amen, but yet and still he allowed, amen, the, the devil to lie to him. So y'all catching this? That he ran, praise God, amen, from this. Now, I want to help you out something. Can I help you out, praise God? The way you can tell the devil is lying is when his mouth is moving, <laughs> Anything, praise God, that comes from the devil is a lie. He's never, because John 8 and 44 tell us that there's no truth in him. So he's going to lie no matter what. He's never, praise God, is going to help you in any way. The devil is miserable. He's bound to internal damnation. He knows he's headed to hell, and he wants everybody else to be miserable. Misery loves company. Come on, somebody. So he tries to hinder our relationship with God in any way he knows how. Can I get a couple of y'all to say amen? And the way he does it, he will whisper it to us. He will lie to us in a whisper, or he will shout it as loud as he can and use any lie under the sun to try to destroy us. Can I get an Amen. Lies like God doesn't want to hear from you anymore. God is ignoring you. That's the biggest lie I think the devil ever. God don't want to hear you. God ain't hear you. That is a lie. Amen. Yo, yo, your proud ain't go to the ceiling. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Just because God didn't answer right away doesn't mean that God didn't hear your prayer. I, you remember I said it all, praise God, all doing this whole series since I started, praise God, in the promises. Just because God promised you this, come on someone, doesn't mean it comes right away. It will show up, praise God. God knows the time and the date that it still shows up for you. Amen. And then the next lie I know he always uses, and I've seen him use, amen, over my years, praise God, as a pastor, um, you tried and tried, but you just can't do it good enough. Amen. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. He wants you to think 
Just because you keep falling, just because you're not making 100%, just because everything is not going as well, that you're not going to make it at all. That is a lie from the pit of hell. You get up, wipe yourself off, and get back in the game. Don't let the devil lie to you like that. So those are good lies that the devil will try to um, get us all the time with. Is that all right? Somebody say amen. Oh, amen. I'm, I'm on my time. Praise God. I've got plenty of scriptures. Praise God. Um, amen. Um, Second Corinthians, praise God, 11 and 14 for you all. That'll help you, praise God, amen. Uh, First Peter 5 and 8, praise God, let us know that we have to be sober-minded, be watchful for the adversary of the devil. is like a roaring lion. He's prying around, trying to seek who he may devour. He's trying to find you, praise God, with the wondering mind that he can tell you a lie, praise God, amen. And then Philippians 4 and 8 said, think on these things, amen. Remember, praise God, what you should keep your mind stayed on. And then, praise God, here's the thing that's going to help you most of all. Ephesians 6 and 11 tell you, stick the armor on, praise God, that when he ever comes, praise God, you at least have that armor on to protect you, praise God. Oh, hammer the salvation that he won't be able to so easily penetrate. You got your shield and your sword. You got everything, praise God, that when he comes, amen, he won't have the ability. Now, I'm going to tell you, he's going to tell you lies. I'm going to tell you, he probably told you a lie this week. He probably told you a lie since we've been doing this series. He's going to keep telling you lies. He's going to tell you that the lie you told yourself, praise God, was true, that you've been trying to bind your, bind that lie, you, that lie we talked about that was holding you down, that you put in your own spirit. He's going to try to tell you that I'm lying to you and that you need to hold on to that lie that you've been telling yourself. That, that's how much the devil is. He'll tell you the lie that somebody else told you, amen, because he's trying to stop you from getting to your destiny. So he'll use a lie that somebody else say just to try to help you. But the devil is a lie. I'm telling you right now, those are things, praise God, you got to be warful out. You got to be careful on. You got to be attentive on. You got to be prayerful on. You got to be careful on. When you see this thing rise up in you, when you see it starting to come against you, you begin to operate. The devil is a lie. You begin to pray. You begin to seek God. You don't have to move on everything right away. And you don't have to prove everything in your spirit right away. Come on, somebody. Everything, praise God. The only thing is, is, is an emergency is life and death. Come on, so everything else can wait until you hear from the Lord. Amen, praise God. Somebody say amen to me. Amen. I just rather sit here with my lights off, amen, instead of, praise God, going for the last moment and doing something that is not in God's will to get my lights turned back on. Somebody help me out. I'd rather, praise God, because a lie from the devil that told me something to do, and I think it fits well because I've been waiting on the Lord, and God hadn't told, and he hadn't heard nothing from God, so here come a lie. Let me tell you, amen, how it can work. Amen. Look at how it happened, praise God. Let me help you out just a little bit more. Amen. Abraham, praise God, wanted a child so bad, praise God. Wife came to him, praise God. She told Told him, let's do it. But all of it came to a lie. Amen. He wound up with an Ishmael and it became a mess. We don't need no Ishmaels in our lives. Those three things I told you, the lie you tell yourself, the lie somebody else tell you, and the lie the devil tell you can hinder what God has for you. It can delay, praise God, and deny what God can do for you. Can I help you out one more thing, praise God? Sometimes God allow you, praise God, to operate in that lie because, listen, it's God's perfect will, permissive will, and out of his will. And I'm going to finish this, praise God. Give me, praise God, just a few moments. Perfect will is operating exactly as the word of God say. That is God's perfect will, praise God. Doing it as the way God said. Permissive will, God allows you to do it. You think you're doing well, praise God, but you're winding with Ishmael. Somebody talk to me. Ishmael was not the chosen child. Come on, someone. But Abraham had him in a way. Somebody help me out. God allowed him to happen. God could have shut that all. God could have stopped that woman from having that child. But God allowed him to have it. That's called his permissive will. God allowed him to go on and do it anyway, though it messed up. And then there's another one called all of his will. That's when you bumped your head and you went way backwards and you listened to every lie the devil done told you. Come on, someone. And somebody give me an amen out there and say hallelujah. So today, saints of God, we have to be so, so careful. We got to be careful as we go into this series. We got to shake this stuff, praise God, that it came upon us to make us think that we're not having the worth. We got to shake those things that people have said to us that make us think that we're not going to ever do it. And then we got to bind those lies that the devil brings to our life 
to make us think what we can't achieve. Those are the three things we got to work. Those got to be our first battles, praise God, before we can go into these other levels. We got so much more, praise God. And you know what we're going to do, praise God, on Tuesday, amen. Listen to me. We're going to fast, praise God. We're going to fast. We're going to talk about that, amen, on Monday. We're going to talk about that on Monday. We're going to fast, praise God, for the breakthrough, amen, for lives. We're going to fast together, amen. Y'all don't hear me. We're going to fast, praise God, because no more lies will ever come into our lives to hinder anything we're doing. Somebody say amen to me. If you never fasted, praise God, I'm going to give you. We're going to put some out there on, the, on, on, on our Facebook and on our website, probably on the website, so we're going to crowd our Facebook so much with everything. We'll probably put it in our, uh, on our website, praise God, explain it to you about fasting, amen, about understanding that a little bit better. But praise God, we want you to be blessed, praise God, and love every one of you. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I'm grateful, God. Now I understand that the devil tells me lies that sometimes sounds like it's true. Sometimes, God, he comes into my life, God, just to just steal, kill, and destroy. And sometimes I don't even realize it because, God, I've been waiting on you so long. I've been just desiring for something to happen. And then an idea or a situation come. But I learned, God, that sometimes a counterfeit shows up before the truth. So, Lord, the lie can show up, God, before the truth can. And, God, give me wisdom, God, to try the Spirit by the Spirit. Help me never, God, in the name of Jesus, ever just operate, God, on my flesh or in my mindset. Help me to trust in you, God, in every situation. God, I'm so grateful, God. Sometimes, God, some doors, God, is shut. It's not because of any other reason, because you wanted them shut. And the devil makes me think it's any something else. But God, I give you glory. I give you praise, God, for all that you're doing, God, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, I operate and thank you, God, for the devil makes me want to think that when you say no to me, that you don't love me, that when you don't open a door for me, that that means you didn't care. But God, you probably open a better door. But when I allow that lie to live, it hinders my ability to allow you to open that other door. So God, help me to stay strong, God, even when I'm weary. Help me to stay strong even when I don't understand. Help me to just stand still and watch you move, God, in the glorious name of Jesus. I decree right now, God, your power, your authority, and your praise in every way, God. And we decree no lie, no lie coming upon my spirit. No lie from the devil. No lie from myself. And no lie from anybody else shall have any more room in my life. I cast them down to the pit of hell. I keep my mind stayed on thee, God. I meditate with my mind surely on you, God. I will not have an idle mind that the devil can use it to mess with me anymore. In the name of Jesus, I am what you said I am. I can do what you said I can do. And I shall live 100% in the powerful and anointed name of Jesus. I do decree tonight, God. Now have your way upon our lives. As we go into this series, God, help us, God. Help us. God. Help us to realize the tricks of the enemy. Help us to realize every time he's coming. Help us, God, start in every day, God. Oh, let us know it's the devil. Help us not to let it happen in the room. Help us to even rebuke our own selves when we come with our own lies to our own self. Help us to stop listening to people tell us lies about ourselves, making us doubt our abilities because we can do all things through you. In the glorious and powerful name of Jesus, we speak all this into the atmosphere. In Jesus' holy name, we decree it. Now, Heavenly Father, upon this pandemic, as we continue to speak, you are in control. No matter what they open, no matter what state they open, no matter what building they open, no matter what they say we can go in, you are in control, God. We shall operate in wisdom. We shall wait on your authority. We shall believe what you say, God. We will wait on your report, God. We are covered under the blood. Now, have your way with each one of us. Keep our first responders. Keep God those essential workers. Keep God our, our, our health care workers. Bless them. Bless our elderly, God. But most of all, get your glory out of our lives. Strengthen us, God, as ever before, Lord, that we may be these servants, God, that you're pleased with. Help us, God, to walk and operate in authority that you've given us. Now, Lord, I thank you for this series. I thank you, God, because it's making me look at myself. I know I've, I've worked on some lies. I know I've lived on some lies. I know I've told my own self down with some of these lies. I know I believe that I couldn't do it. I know God people told me I couldn't do it. It. I know the devil and told me I couldn't do it, but from this day forward, God, I refuse, God, that I would never. I'm going to dream again. I'm going to try again. I'm going to do it again, God. I'm going to work again. I can do it, God, with you in the precious name of Jesus. And I decree, God, nothing is over for me. Absolutely nothing. I still got a chance to come out greater than anything as long as I got a pulse in my body. 
In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Somebody say amen to me. Now listen, praise God. We're at Miller Park. Praise God tomorrow at 1 p.m. Amen. Asking you to come out. Amen. Because they said 50% in the church. How in the world we're going to do that? Tell half of you not to come in. Half of you to stay out. The devil is a lie. We'll be at Miller Park. Drive up service for those that want, those that can. Social distance. Praise God. Bring your chair. Praise God. But we're social distancing ourselves. We're at Miller Park. Praise God. At 1 p.m. here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Amen. If you're not able to be here and you want us following us on Facebook Live, we will be live at 1 p.m. Amen. There. Then we'll come right back here. Praise God. Dealing with this uh, series. Praise God. Amen. We're built not to break. Praise God. At 6.30 p.m. on tomorrow. Tomorrow, praise God, is Women's Day. Amen. At Living Word. We're going to operate in Women's Day at the park. So we're asking each one of you to tune in and see the blessings of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for each one of you. I love you. God knows I do. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. Be blessed. Share this video right now. I need everyone to share it. And also listen to this. You pay your tithes. You pay your offerings to your church. We at Living Word is Give a Fire Lynchburg VA. Give a Fire Living Word Lynchburg VA. You, we need your tithes. Every church, praise God, because they're not open, a lot of tithes are down. We was on a prayer call with a bunch of the pastors all over the nation, and a lot of them, amen, are concerned. We don't want that to be our problem. So be faithful. You've got the stimulus checks. Pay your tithes on them checks. You've got, praise God, your funds coming in. Be faithful, praise God. Continue to bless your ministry. Continue to be faithful over what God has given you, amen, that God can bless you. Amen. Give a fire. Living Word, Lynchburg, VA. I love everyone. Have a blessed night. See you tomorrow.